So Cyrus II of the uh, Persian Empire, uh, the Jewish, uh, the Jews' return to Israel was based on an edict uh, that he proclaimed, uh, allowing them to return to their to their homeland. Uh, do you think this was uh, a humanitarian move? Uh, what was this? A move of geopolitics. I'm, I'm saying that based on some comments that are attributed to uh, Cyrus the Great. Uh, things like, you know, bequeathing uh, wealth, dignity to your people and they will love you, uh, uh, things like that. So uh, there is, uh, to me, a pragmatic element to uh, this, this act by uh, Cyrus the Great. Yeah, you're right, actually. It is, it is pragmatic. So I mean, so I always like to, you know, explain to my students that that in modern history today, um, the Persian Empire gets a pretty bad rap. And the reason is because of the Greek and Persian Wars, right? The Persian invasion of Greece in 490 and 480 BC. And so, you know, and most of our information about that comes from the Greeks. So the Persians tend to get portrayed in a pretty negative light uh, in, you know, in kind of retrospect. Um, but in fact, the Persian Empire was one of the most enlightened empires of the ancient world. Um, if you look at it in the sense of, of giving um, peoples, native peoples under their rule, what we would call today religious freedom. Uh, because their predecessors, the Assyrians and the Babylonians, for example, who had conquered uh, the kingdoms of Israel and Judah respectively, had forced the uh, upper class populations of, of those kingdoms to go into exile. And the policy of the Persians was just the opposite. They repatriated exiled peoples to their homelands, not just the Jews, but other peoples as well. Um, so from a, you know, the way would, we would look at it today, we would call it, let's say, humanitarian. But it wasn't, it wasn't motivated by, that's a concept that I don't think <laughs> at that point. It really was very pragmatic. And, and the reason, there, were, there were several reasons for this. Um, number one, happy subjects made loyal subjects, or loyal subjects made happy subjects, right? So uh, first of all, you're, you're going to have those people who are under your rule be, be loyal to you, they'll be happy. Um, and, um, you know, the Persian king, like many ancient kings, uh, uh, well, like actually pretty much all ancient peoples, believed in, in a pantheon of gods, right? And so the perspective is, well, if we repatriate all of these peoples to their native lands, and allow them to rebuild their temples and worship their gods, those gods will also be on our side, right? And, and <laughs> in favor of those gods as well, right? The more gods, the better that you have supporting you. Uh, and of course, you know, having, uh, having well-functioning temples throughout the country, throughout the empire, generated a lot of revenue that uh, was taxable. So, um, so altogether, it was really a win-win situ situation for the Persian king. 